Simple recursive sequences in the sequence app will uh, move over and find and open the sequence app if there's anything there. As usual, edit, clear all and confirm. Now, for this first one, we need to start from term one and it's a straightforward type of recursion. So we choose type the second one down, an plus one type a one. Uh, we type in the rules, so we use the drop down menu from here to create an an minus four. So I'll use the buttons on classpad over here. Tap execute. Execute's a good idea because it also ticks the box here to select the function, uh, and we can enter the first term on the next line and tap execute after that. So we're all ready to go. Now, if we want the first 10 terms of this sequence, we need to set the table range from here. So it's starting at one and we're gonna end on the 10th. So we'll enter the 10 for the last one, tap okay. And our last job is to tap onto this little icon and here's the sequence. If we tap resize at the bottom of the screen, we can see the first 10 terms of this sequence uh, ending in negative three there. So, one done. Let's close the window with the cross at the top and that brings us back to the editor. If I type edit clear all, that will remove that one and we start again for this second uh, geometric sequence. So the type is the second one down again. And here we go again. The rule is we want the previous term multiplied by two, tap execute. Enter the first term is three and tap execute. Uh, this time we're after the first 11 terms, so we'll set up our table window from 1 to 11 and tap OK. Now, rather than um, just get the sequence by itself, we also want the sum of the terms of this sequence. So we're going to tap onto the diamond up here and set the sum display to on which means it'll actually create the sum of the terms of the sequence in the same window. Once we've done that, we tap the uh, create table icon and you can see we've got an additional column here. Tapping resize enables us to find out um, anything that we want about this sequence, either a term or a sum in this column.